Hi everybody, when it comes to the topic of gender in shopping, the standard stereotype is that women love it and men hate it. Increasingly, there are men who have massive sneaker collections and huge amounts of iPad applications. So, are men just as addicted to shopping as women? Evolutionary psychologists believe that it relates to our caveman ancestry. Men are hunters, women are gatherers. So women are delighted by the shopping process, whereas men just see it as a way of getting what they want. At the Wharton School of Business, they actually found that women spend more time but less money shopping because it's the shopping experience. It's the trying, it's the buying, the comparing the prices that makes it so enjoyable. Interestingly, Westpac did a survey recently and found that 47% of women think their blokes squander money and 19% of them don't even trust their guys with the shared finances. So really, are women the savvy savers and are men the ones that think that money grows on trees? Men see life as a series of contests that they must conquer to maintain their personal status. And that includes the resources and toys and gadgets which they see as propelling their status ever higher. For women, it's about their bodies. They care for their bodies as reflections of themselves. Physical attractiveness becomes a source of self. And interestingly, the cosmetic industry is, of course, one of the oldest in the world. 40% of women spend the majority of their money on clothes, as opposed to only 12% of men. Well, the theory is that us ladies are willing to go broke as long as we've got some nice designer clothes while we're doing it. Shopping relates a lot to materialism. It's the main way that we present ourselves is through the image and through stuff. So the love of objects is tied up with a desire to project an identity and social status. But interestingly, buying stuff doesn't make materialistic people happy. Status anxiety relates to the more that we have, the more that we feel deprived and anxious. We like to compare ourselves to people that we identify with. And the more people we compare ourselves to, the more we have status anxiety. Shopping as an addiction is a form of obsessive compulsive disorder. People who have it liken shopping to taking drugs or being sexually stimulated. Around six million Americans are considered to be compulsive shoppers. One study tried to prove that when women are premenstrual, they spend more impulsively because the stuff they buy relate to adornment, including jewellery, high heels and makeup, because dressing to impress is all about being fertile, after all. <laughs> but isn't it sexist to position shopping and impulse buying as governed by hormones? Men are characterised as collectors, whereas women are shopaholics, when in reality 5.5% of men and 6% of women have shopping addictions. Men don't cl clip coupons. They don't make lists, unless they're Virgos, of course. And they impulse buy. They spend more on eating out, sports tickets, electronics, drinking, dating and cars. 88% of impulse buyers are made because items are on sale. Well, there's no surprise there. But jewellery and sports equipment are both the most um, prolific things bought, bought on impulse. And it's brick and mortar stores that actually influence people to buy impulsively. Gruen effect, anyone? So men spend more online. Two and a half times um, as two and a half times more men shop online than women. And that's because women tend to use the internet to save time. And it's all about convenience for women, but it's also about relationships. They like sites where they can browse, chat, ask questions, and really build a sense of community. Men base their shopping experience on convenience. They like to kind of check out stores and make sure it's c close to parking. And it's also based on an actual need for an item. The only time they talk to salespeople is to complete a transaction and to check out fast. PayPal found that men outspend women in every category except groceries and clothes. Men in Britain also spent more than women on health and beauty. So metrosexual men are really the biggest spenders of all. So let's lay this cliché to rest that women are emotional spenders. The numbers show that in most countries women spend more on 
clothing and personal care, but men spend more on big ticket items and many other categories, including cars, alcohol, and of course, iPads. 